Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back my lovelies. Go ahead and take a seat, have a coffee or tea, anything to relax you. Let's see what's coming towards you Virgos for this month of June 2021. What can we expect for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay, one more shuffle. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. You're starting off with the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Lovers, and the Princess of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So there is a new beginning that you're currently or will be experiencing uh, for this month. There is someone that's coming towards you that may be very emotionally invested in you, very intense. This could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo person. You may also be dealing with a Gemini uh, with air energy as well, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Earth energy, as we do have uh, the Princess of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now, this new beginning that's coming towards you, I feel that there may, if you're not careful, um, you may actually miss this opportunity. I see you dwelling or thinking about the past or thinking about a situation that didn't quite work out the way you expected it to. Uh, there is almost a feeling of being stuck, not being able to move forward. It could be that you're fixating on a specific person that could have not reciprocated or that has recently pulled away. Um, and I feel that you're very much in your feelings right now, Virgo. With the Five of Swords, it is indicating to me, don't let your pride or your ego get in the way. So when I say this, I mean it in the sense of oftentimes when we feel that we're being rejected um, or that we're not being reciprocated, right? with the feelings or emotions or effort that we're putting towards an individual. Um, you can get so caught up in the feeling of, I'm tired of this, you know, I'm done. I'm done with love. I'm done with partnerships. I'm not investing anymore. And you completely close yourself off. It's almost like when you're trying to manifest. Um, oftentimes what I tell my clients is, if you've been working really hard towards a manifestation, Right when that manifestation is about to show up in your life is when 90% of the people give up. And the reason for that is because the universe will throw at you a situation, circumstance, or person that may differentiate from what you're wanting. Only as in a testing, testing type of energy. Do you really want that commitment? Do you really want that happily ever after? Or are you willing to lower your expectations and entertain an individual that is only wanting something temporary? And that's where people often get misled or where people get confused or whatever the situation is. Oftentimes people give up before that manifestation happens. So what they're telling you here is don't get in your feelings about the situation, Virgo. Whatever is unfolding, whoever is going out of your life right now, take it as a blessing because they're trying to redirect your energy towards an individual that is correct and that is right for you. Now, for some of you guys, this could be a situation where there is an individual that's coming towards you that is trying to put effort in getting to know you or that will be confessing uh, some type of emotion or some type of feelings towards you. But you're so closed off or tainted um, that you refuse to see the blessing that's coming your way. So you're being at crossroads right now when it, in regards to romance, in regards to love. And whatever decision you make from that should you stay in the, I'm done, I'm over it, I'm not going to be played with, or whatever energy, you know, is coming through right now. Um, so you're completely closing off. And when you close off, 
you're guarding yourself and creating a wall for the person that's coming towards you. Now you have to keep in mind, Virgo, they're telling you here, slow and steady wins the race. Whatever starts off hot and heavy will crash and burn very quickly. And this is something that you need to learn or you have been learning. This could have been a test. If you've been recently dealing with a person the past four months or the past four weeks, what they're telling you here is whoever wants to walk out of your life right now, let them walk away. Don't hold on to it. Don't try to force it. Don't try to make something that is, in reality, it's your higher spirit trying to redirect your energy. So be mindful about that. I'm going to be pulling out an oracle card to see the specific message that spirit guides want to communicate in regards to this situation for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. number 30. This is about sexuality, intimacy, initiative, romance. This is like, this is talking about passion, about peace. And romance is always the beginning of a relationship. So again, I do see love coming in for you. But what they're telling you is don't hold on to anything that is trying to walk away from your life right now, or that is trying to pull away. Embrace that. Because spirit is trying to redirect your energy towards the person that is right for you. Romance is going to be very important for you guys for this month. Pay attention to that. Anyone that comes towards you or that is showing interest or that is wanting to get to know you. If they start off, like I said, hot and heavy. This is something that you have been trying to learn. It's a lesson. So walk away from that. Only embrace those that come towards you with romantic gestures. Someone that is genuinely wanting to take you out, wanting to get to know you, not rushing into the physical. That's your challenge for this month. So again, love is around you. It is about you learning to choose the people that are right so that you can put effort in that instead of wasted energy and effort towards people that are undeserving. Okay, my lovelies? I hope that this gives you guidance. I hope it gives you some type of clarity, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.